it was great to see the stands filled and you know a lot of former players come back homecoming is always you know a special time um and i, I referenced that in our pregame to the kids that you know it it doesn't mean much to them now i mean it's not like high school where homecoming is like huge but after they graduate it, it certainly means something to to come back and reconnect with with their friends um and yeah we performed well um and i was happy that we spread it around um we were pretty balanced um you know on offense and you know a lot of people played i was glad to see ian kip we, we had a plan to get him some um uh, drives in you know the, not just plays here and there and you know ian played really well with with the drives that he got and defensively first half you know played really really well and you know we need to improve our pass defense that's the one thing our, our defense has improved so much but uh you know we're still giving up some yardage and, and some plays in the passing game but other than that you know we kicked a field goal our special teams were solid yeah it was a really good effort i thought and you know it, exactly what we needed going into a bye week. So we used the bye week to, you know, to, to get healthy, um, play some younger players, and on both sides of the ball, we, we really weren't totally focused on Bethany, um, but what we had to do over these last four games to win. So um, we kind of re-emphasized some things, we took a look at some new things, um, but yeah, it was a really productive week, and the kids had, uh, what I noticed about the practices, they were really fun. We went, uh, you know, one offense again with one defense quite a bit, and it kind of raised the level of competition and did some situational things. So the kids had, I think, a really good time. We played a JV game over the weekend, so the young guys had a lot of time to play. So I think we're in a good spot. You know, we're as healthy as we're going to be, um, and we're looking forward to this this stretch drive here. And all our goals are still intact. Hi, my name is Caden Tong, and I am a junior on the Case Western Spartans football team. During COVID, I got really interested in the stock market, and the stock market is a heavily um, financial field, I guess. But uh, pretty much, I learned a lot about it over COVID before I even started coming to school here. Got really interested, and then once I came here, I decided on finance. And with that, I learned a lot more uh, about all the different fields and all the different things you can do. And it just felt like it really suited me the best, so I stuck with finance. Over the summer, I worked with the Parent Bank and Legal Entities Accounting Team at PNC. Um, that was pretty cool. I learned a lot about just how basic business works and all that kind of stuff. And it was really nice to be able to apply uh, all the really cool things I learned here to somewhere other than just a homework sheet or a test. Um, and then right now, I'm actually still working at PNC with something called the Continuous Improvement Program. And essentially what they do is internal consulting. So being able to help other people and problem solve has been really fun and really nice just to be able to have something different every now and then. Right at the beginning of the summer, May, me and Jace are good friends. Me and him lift a lot together. And essentially, I called him up one day. I was like, yo, there's not a lifting club at Case. I think it's really cool. There's more people lifting than ever. It's almost becoming a little trendy, which, you know, that could be a good or bad thing. But um, so we were like, all right, you know what? We're just going to do it. So we set it up. We got things rolling. And then over the past couple months, we put together an exec board of about eight members. We've had our first two events and we have nearly 100 members now. So we've really exploded and we're pretty excited for all the different things to come. Just from like a management role, the club is pretty easy for my part. Like I still do my piece of my portion of the work and all that kind of stuff. My exec board is great. They get everything they need to done. We've had no issues and they're exceeding my expectations nonstop. But from a football side, you know, football really teaches you how to work in a team. They call it the best team sport there ever was. So it's no surprise that me and Jace work well on the team with the people that we got on board with our project. I couldn't imagine myself anywhere else and I really didn't do that truthfully because I came here with, no, with having really no expectations. I didn't know what to expect. And when I came here, I've met so many different people who are so smart and like-minded and just overall wanting to always get better and grow. And that's been really attractive to me. And that's why it's been so easy for me here. And I just feel like every day I'm learning something new, I'm getting better. And that gives me a lot of fulfillment within myself. And seeing that happen to other people as well makes me really happy. Just being able to 
keep going, just constant, like learning, getting better at football, starting new clubs, getting internships, like all this kind of stuff. And there definitely is a competitive nature here. And I like that because I feel like it motivates me and other students to work harder.